Dude, otters survive in here. How the hell can an otter survive in here? I can't get a goddamn snack. Where are those massive human- Dude, we look like a little Godzilla. I can't get over it. I can't- Let me have my fun! They can't even get to me because I'm walking on water, suckers. <laughs> wow, dude. That's actually hilarious. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, and today we're going to be playing as the Ark Extinction Creatures, but in Aberration. I figured that, like, ultimate plot twist would just be way crazier, because obviously Ark Extinction Creatures could survive pretty well in Extinction. That's where they're from. That's what their bodies adapted and built to. That thing looks like it smells so goddamn bad. But of course, Aberration, an entirely different world that's, like, just completely its own little demented, corrupted mess. This... I feel like it'd be a lot harder to survive it, you know? Like, the odds are really stacked more against you. The resources, I should say. And there's Karkados everywhere, which are just dicks when it comes down to it. I mean, for the most part, it's a lot of similarities, but there's a lot of differences, too. Also, I should let you guys know I just posted a shark video, but like a reaction video, because those always did super well on my channel, but I posted it on my second channel now. That second channel is where all the reaction videos are going. It's like down below if you guys want to go check it out, but... I posted two two videos in the past week have gotten freaking flagged and removed off YouTube within like the first five minutes of uploading. It's like insane. So now I'm just way scared. My views do so much worse when that happens too, especially when they get flagged for adult content. So yeah, just letting you guys know if you want to check out those epic reaction videos, um, second channel down below. All right, so I feel like generally a gas bag, I mean, the, the gas bag was, obviously the gas bag was gonna be the first creature we chose. It's just such a spectacularly, I don't know, just weird creature. It's just so, um, there's nothing else really like it whatsoever. A lot of creatures that, God damn it. Okay, this is, Escape! Escape! Oh my God. Goddamn robot raptors. You never really prepare for the androids to attack. I mean, we all know humanity got kind of boned over by Skynet, but what happened to all the animals, you know? No one ever considers. Oh, that would have been the hangout spot. Hang on, how do you pump your brakes? <sighs> Damn it! Oof! All right, good one. Oh, this is, this is who we'd be hanging out with right here. This would be the spot for a nice gas bag on top of a mountain, hanging out with bulldogs. What up, little homie? I've rarely used these things because I've only live streamed Ark for the most part, except for a bunch of videos, I suppose. But, um. I don't know, it's really nerve wracking when you take fall damage on stream and then you're like too scared to use the creature again because you're afraid it's gonna happen again. Alright, pump the brakes, come on. You gotta learn how to drive yourself, Johnny. We just deplete! Stop the bleeding! Stop the bleeding! Oh my god damn it. Yes. These are one of the main bastards I was concerned with with coming around here. Get lost, little man. Is that really how far they blow back? Dude, they're not even going anywhere. Ravages do not release. Ravages don't go anywhere. This is what I was worried about. Oh my god, I'm just a giant gushing blood monster. Oh, you missed it. Now you will die. Inhale. Inhale and bail. Oh, that'd be a cool shirt. I want a shirt that's just gas bags and it just says inhale then bail. That'd be hilarious. Stare it up onto the mushroom. You've got this. All right, okay. Like a thousand feet sooner would have been so much more preferable. <gasps> oh God, this is gonna hurt. Oh, we missed it. We're not built to survive. I'm gonna hang out with this. God damn it, dude. Why does the air blow back Ravagers? That is such an issue. Good lord. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop. No. No. No, no, no. Okay, good. They got distracted. All right, good. And now they're all focused on Stegos. Man, I need to learn how to drive myself better because <laughs> it doesn't work on Ravagers. Ravagers don't go anywhere. Freaking, it's a lot harder to survive in this world than I thought it'd be. Get out of here. Go, go, go. The raptors don't even go anywhere. I don't think this gas bag just works, dude. Nothing seems to be blowing away like they're supposed to. Oh my Christ. The bigger gas bag sucks. Poor creatures. How would this thing ever even... I would not imagine this thing evolving like millions of years and then existing as one of the primary species on the planet. It's just a big freaking caterpillar worm that's able to fart. But I mean, it can't... Like, it, why isn't anything blowing back? Am I just not filling up with enough air? I could have sworn... 
that anything. I mean, that bulldog blew away, but he was a little feller, of course. I just don't have very much. I just don't have the most impressive airbag release. I thought I did. I thought it was a powerful queef, a big monstrous pair of, you know, lady parts. But no, these are like little little soft, gentile queefs. This is what my life would be. This is what survival is as a gas bag and aberration. For anybody who's wondering how they would go about with their existence and everything, it pretty much just evolves to this. Staying up in the high terrain, obviously gas bagging yourself up there, and then just living off the natural vegetation. Only going down when you're really thirsty. If you, of course, can't absorb some water off the local berries, which you should be able to. You know, I wish there were more small creatures in extinction, you know what I'm saying? Every creature in extinction is freaking huge, and it's just not quite as special a feeling as, like, let's say an aberration that you could play as a bulldog and all that. Either way, though, surviving as a gotcha in the redwoods would be pretty damn dope. They're actually pretty huge. Okay, this is where it gets annoying. How much bigger are you than a raptor? You're huge! Or after should be dying a lot quicker. I'm just a gentle beast, but these claws. Yeah, that's right, homie. That's right. You just get a, get a look at these scratchers. I may be a grown man, but I'm not afraid to scratch in a fight. That is disgraceful. No, but as a gotcha, it's pretty okay. When we do a play as Dino server day with subscribers, like we do a bunch of the time, which are awesome as hell, this is where. This is where I'll be residing as a gotcha. But we have to disable titans because obviously people go crazy. Unless we could somehow, once once mod is available and we can breed titans, that's when we'll do play as titans and we can all just make a big giant titan family. Sounds goddamn ridiculous. Gotcha existence in extinction actually isn't that bad to be honest because they would maintain this biome obviously and they're the largest creature in here or the largest creature that could throw fists. Like, obviously, Parasaurs can't exactly throw hands. If, if sheep and, and dodos can survive here, we would be just fine. We could probably live on for hundreds of years in this area. Until, I don't know, some sort of King Kong scenario plays out. Okay. I, I, I gotta be honest. Gotcha life. <laughs> gotcha life isn't as exhilarating as I thought of it. It's pretty much what it, what it comes down to. Stand here, eat some mushrooms and berries, probably kick this guy's ass, and then I just gotta figure out what else to do with my life. Breed. Fine female gotcha poontang. I'll save breeding play as dino for the next episode though. Wow, what a nice life gotchas have. That's the advantage of being a beautiful spiritual epic level creature right there. You just get to fully you you've evolved to such an extent you just get to enjoy life for what it is. Look, I've somehow become a pack of raptors. I don't even know what happened. And there, and then there, there goes the gotcha running off in the distance. That's how you survive in the red ones right there. You get loose. I'm a pack of attacking raptors. I don't even know how this happened. This is insane. We need to use this power to our... What does even happen? I'm, so, I'm like the riders of the apocalypse over here. Time for the ultimate survival. How can a titan survive an extinction? An ice titan nonetheless. His temperature core would be so off. I assume the ice titan is cold-blooded. Or warm blooded? No, it would have to be warm. Actually, yeah, it would have to be warm blooded. I don't know if it, it it's it's element blooded, so it's hard to describe. Let's go and make our way down to the blue area, since obviously, I feel like as a giant creature, we'd belong down in the depths. You know what I'm saying? Man, rocks really are bastards. I guess it's cooler we climb to the edge anyways, and then jump in. I feel like that's weird. I haven't gotten this before, but it makes sense. Oh my god, that epic dissension. Oosh! This is like the ultimate invasive species right here. How to throw off an ecosystem in one simple step. This is the kind of cr crap you guys can expect at your base in my PvP server in the next week if you start bullying other tribes like crazy. Dude, look, we've, we've just bounced up on a branch. Poor creature, I'm getting claustrophobic just looking at him. Wow, imagine how little room there'd be. Oh my god, just froze! There we go. Poor creature. They're not really meant for aberration, are they? We've been seeing nothing but problems. Oh, that's fancy. I thought we landed up on there, but now I see it was just an accident. Can we even progress? Like he's... Wait, can we squeeze on through? He's too goddamn big! We can't get... 
This is crazy. He belongs. He belongs in a museum. No, hang on. You should be able to navigate, dude. Navigate for your life. My toes are getting all anxiety issues. I'm crossing my legs now. I feel. St oh god. Oh god. We're cramped. Oh my god. Oh, what have I done? This is this is the point at which I'd usually pull a pistol out and start really contemplating if it's all worth it. Look at our legs are even jumbled back there. Damn, I knocked a roll rat down just running. That's crazy. These things don't have a swim animation, do they? I don't think Ark ever played on them swimming. Oh, this is just hopeless. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. These creatures are too goddamn big. This is why Extinction doesn't have a roof right here. Exactly. Oh, God. See, in a movie, jumping into the mystical trees would have been awesome. But something tells me it's just going to be anxiety right now. All right. I like it. We're progressing. Trying to find ourselves a giant tunnel where we can hold up for the most part where humans have to travel far and wide to fight me. I've cornered myself, dude. This is anxiety like crazy. Okay, playing as the Titans in any map except Extinction is a mistake. Look how cute he looks all just kind of perched up on that aberration thing right there. That giant rock. You can't play as this creature. I just thought it'd be cool to get him in here really quick to see the freaking size difference. Like, if he, I really thought he would reach the roof. I was positive he'd reach the roof or the ceiling, but nope, not even close. Barely reached that thing. The fact that Aberration doesn't have this kind of giant creature crawling around in its deepest tunnels, like, freaking, I don't know. That, I feel like that would just be the coolest goddamn thing ever. Rockwell's a cool boss, but he's got nothing on this thing. This thing's way cooler than Rockwell. See, big creatures are fun, but they will just, I feel like they'll never be as fun as, um, I'm glad you idiot. Oh, I have lit up. How do I glad? I've got stumped wings. Oh, now we're talking. It'll just never be as fun as being a tiny little creature. You know what I'm saying? Even though doing these play as dino live streams with you guys is goddamn exhausting as a little creature, because you all just stream snipe my life away, which tears my heart out. Look at that. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Man, we're out of stamina. You know, this is, this is stupid. This is an insignificant life. I think if I'd prefer it, I'd just stick it out as a gotcha in the woods. I think they definitely have it best. Yeah, gas bags, I don't know. I feel like gas bags are universally abused. I wonder if this mod updated enough for me to go in the water yet. Or does it dismount me? No, we full on swim. Oh, that's so cool. I've never actually seen a glow tail. Oh, Jesus! I've never seen a glow tail swim before. I didn't even know they could. Poof. See, that's where, you, uh, that's where it's downside. You gotta go in the water to hunt a little fish so you could eat, obviously. Because I don't know what the hell we're going to eat on land. The only thing we could probably eat is some tiny little cold fish. But at the same time, those piranha are bigger than we are, dude. You know what you got to do is make friends with a big creature. Touch his pee, pee or something. Then he has to give you food. Survival tactics. but Prison survival tactics, but nevertheless survival. Dude, otters survive in here. How the hell can an otter survive in here? I can't get a goddamn snack. Where are those massive human- Dude, we look like a little Godzilla. I can't get over it. I can't- Let me have my fun! That one's almost dead. Acha! Come on. Bring it back, homie. It's difficult for glow tails to hunt for fish. It's difficult for glow tails in general. I feel like unless- We would eat bugs. Bugs. Fish are out of the food chain. It's all about bugs. I feel like spinos don't even bother us, right? Yeah, look, we have like a mutual area. God damn it! I don't know what I thought. I thought I was so low in the food chain that spiders wouldn't even bother me. Like I was just, just the untouchable. Like what's the point of even biting him? The amount of calories it takes to eat him is not worth the calories we intake by eating him. That's kind of what I thought was gonna happen. But no, the opposite happened. Death got my face. I suppose these things are pretty cute too, but they sure as hell are no titans, but I won't be having an anxiety attack in the woods because I can't walk around. 
I don't know, dude. I feel like this is the very last creature in the entire goddamn game you'd want to be right here. This is literally like what they feed to T-Rexes in, in Jurassic Park, but even smaller and more defenseless. We even trot like a dummy. We're trot, we trot like we're trying to bait food, like bait a carnivore to come eat our faces. We're not even essentially a mountain goat. If we could be a mountain goat, that'd be the best thing ever. You know, we are kind of a mountain goat. All right, I'll take it. But how do we get food up here? If you guys ever watched documentaries on mountain goats, they have horrifying lives. Like, going down to the water to, to drink means certain death because they can only evade predators when they're on the rocks. Going down for water is always a sketchy thing. This is stupid. I miss being a titan. We just need to not be on aberrations. Too small of a map. I can't wait till we can be shine horns on aberration. That's gonna be hilarious. See, these guys don't have a swim animation. It's just running. I'm just running on water. I'm. What the hell's going on? Goddamn Jesus goat. Wow. I feel so fancy right now. It is uncontrollable. I am the chosen one. You ever see a goat walking down the river like this? He's the chosen one. Oh my god. <laughs> they can't even get to me because I'm walking on water, suckers. <laughs> wow, dude. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> I bet they can still bite my feet though. They don't seem to be able to though. This is how Jesus evades great white sharks right here. Jesus is always showing off at frat parties. That is hysterical. Never mind, I take it back. The Shinehorn does have its own godly abilities. It's so cute that it actually can't go in the water. I guess it can't. It just has the ability to fight it. Look at these suckers. They don't even know what's going on. Could they even bite me? They're killing each other. <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh my god! We're drawing other predators. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Oh, okay. Okay, it's not fun anymore. Still, though, found out a great gift about ourselves. We have Jesus powers. I can't imagine Jesus' face when he figured out the same thing. I feel like with great power comes great responsibility. Time to get crucified. Alright, so there you have it, ladies and germs. I'm sorry I said that, but play as Dino and Aberration as Extinction Creatures is very goddamn difficult. It really is, because, um, there's just no room. The creatures are all so big. They're all so huge. Even the gotchas are goddamn enormous, like the size of parasers almost. Um, so yeah, that's it was pretty much a giant anxiety attack. But then you return to these cute little guys and it's adorable. Definitely keep a lookout for my tweets regarding subscriber play as dino streams because all we have to do is pop up the server and then we're all on the same world together. And I think a play as dino extinction one would be insane. So yes, but that probably will be for like a month or so. We might wait till it hits the dev kit just to be safe, just so it's extra awesome. I don't know, we'll find out. But um, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll hit you guys up. I'll see you on Twitch later. Peace!